Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at vacuum leak. Some of the causes of a vacuum leak, symptoms of a vacuum leak, and how to repair a vacuum leak. A car vacuum leak is a condition where air is able to enter the engine through a crack or hole in the vacuum system, which can cause a variety of problems such as rough idle, stalling, and decreased engine performance. The vacuum system in a car is responsible for controlling various functions such as the fuel and air fuel mixture, emission control, and power brake. When there is a leak in the vacuum system, it can disrupt these functions and cause the engine to run poorly or even fail to start. Some of the common symptoms of a car vacuum leak include the following. Rough idle. A vacuum leak can cause the engine to run rough or shake while idling. This is basically because unmetered air is introduced into the engine that can change the air fuel mixture and that can lead to rough idle. 2. Poor acceleration. A vacuum leak can also sometimes be responsible for a poor acceleration. And then, followed by this poor acceleration and rough idle, the third symptom will be check engine light. A vacuum leak can trigger the check engine light because the vacuum leak can cause so many engine variables to change, leading to rough engine operation that can trigger the check engine light. 4. Hissing or whistling noise. A vacuum leak can cause a hissing or whistling noise coming from the engine. 5. Engine stalling. A vacuum leak can cause the engine to stall or die when coming to a stop. 6. High idle speed. There are times where a vacuum leak can cause the engine to idle at higher than normal speed. 7. Poor fuel economy. A vacuum leak can cause the engine to burn more fuel than necessary, resulting in poor fuel economy. 8. Hard starting. Vacuum leak can also make it difficult for the engine to start, especially when the engine is cold. 9. Smell of gasoline. A vacuum leak can cause gasoline vapor to escape from the fuel system, resulting in a strong smell of gasoline. 10. Engine overheating. A vacuum leak can cause the engine to run hotter than normal due to lean fuel mixture. 11. Misfire. A vacuum leak can cause one or more cylinders to misfire, resulting in rough running engine. 12. Brake problems. A vacuum leak can affect the power brake booster, causing reduced braking power or hard brake pedal. This is especially true if the vacuum system that is connected to the brake booster is not functioning properly, that can lead to hard brake pedal operation. 13. Transmission shifting problems. A vacuum leak can affect the vacuum modulator valve in an automatic transmission, causing shifting problems. 14. Emission related problems. A vacuum leak can cause increased emission and it may cause the vehicle to fail an emission test. And finally, 15. Engine damage. In severe cases, vacuum leak can cause damage to the engine, such as burned valve or failed pistons. If these are some of the common symptoms of a vacuum leak, now let's have a look at what can be done in order to fix a vacuum leak. Fixing a car vacuum leak can be a complex process that requires a professional mechanic. However, there are some steps that you can take to identify and potentially fix the issue yourself. For example, 1. Check for visible signs of damage. Look for any cracks or holes in the vacuum hoses or gaskets. If you find any, replace them immediately. 2. Listen to hissing or whistling sound. Start the engine and listen to any unusual noise coming from under the hood. If you hear a hissing or whistling sound, it may indicate a vacuum leak. Try to pinpoint where that sound is coming from and try to fix the issue. 3. Tighten connections. Check all connections and ensure they are tight and secure. Loose connection can cause vacuum leak. 4. Replace damaged components. If you have identified a damaged hose or gasket, replace it with a new one. 5. Check the intake manifold gasket. The intake manifold gasket is usually the one that go bad, leading to a vacuum leak. If you suspect this is the issue, have a mechanic check or replace it if necessary. 6. Inspect the brake booster. The brake booster uses vacuum pressure to assist while braking. If there is a leak in the brake booster, it can cause a vacuum leak. Inspect the brake booster check valve. The power brake booster check valve prevent air from entering the brake booster. If it is damaged or worn out, it can cause a vacuum leak. Have it inspected and replaced if there is a problem. 
7. Check the PCV valve. The PCV valve, also known as the positive crankcase ventilation valve, is responsible for regulating the flow of air through the engine. If it is clogged or malfunctioning, it can cause a vacuum leak. Have it inspected. 8. Don't ignore any issues that indicate a vacuum leak is going to happen. A vacuum leak can cause a variety of problems, including reduced engine performance, decreased fuel efficiency, and even engine damage. It is important to address issues that are going to lead to a vacuum leak as soon as possible to avoid further damage and costly repair. 9. Check the throttle body gasket. The throttle body controls the amount of air entering the engine. If the gasket between the throttle body and the intake manifold is damaged, it can cause a vacuum leak. Have a mechanic check and replace the gasket if necessary. 10. Inspect the evaporative emission control system. The evaporative emission control system is responsible for preventing fuel vapors from escaping into the atmosphere. If there is a leak in the evaporative emission control system, it can cause a vacuum leak. 13. Check the fuel pressure regulator. The fuel pressure regulator controls the amount of fuel delivered to the engine. If it is damaged or if it is malfunctioning, it can cause a vacuum leak. Have it inspected. 12. Check vacuum lines. Vacuum lines connect various components in the engine and can become cracked or damaged over time. Inspect all vacuum lines and replace any that are damaged or worn out. 13. Use smoke machine. A smoke machine can help identify the location of a vacuum leak by filling the engine compartment with the smoke and identify where it is escaping. 14. Seek professional help. If you are unable to identify or fix the issue yourself, seek the help of a professional mechanic who has experience in diagnosing and replacing vacuum leaks. They will have the necessary tools and expertise to fix the issue properly. While some vacuum leaks can be easily located and repaired, others may require more extensive repairs. If you are unsure how to diagnose or repair a vacuum leak, it's better to leave it to the professional to avoid causing further damage. Now, there are some steps that you can take in order to prevent vacuum leak from happening. Let's have a look at some of the things that you can take to prevent vacuum leak. Regularly inspect and replace worn or damaged vacuum lines. Use high quality vacuum hoses and connections. Keep the engine and its components clean to prevent debris from entering the system that can lead to a vacuum leak. Avoid over-tightening clamps or connections which can damage hoses and cause vacuum leak. Check and replace any damaged or worn gaskets and seals. Avoid using low-quality parts which may not fit properly and can cause vacuum leak. Have the engine regularly serviced and maintained to prevent issues that can lead to vacuum leaks. Avoid harsh driving conditions or off-road use that can cause damage to the engine and its components. Replace any damaged or worn vacuum actuators or solenoids. Check the vacuum reservoir for cracks, leaks and replace if necessary. Check the vacuum check valve for proper operation and replace if necessary. Inspect vacuum hoses for cracks, leaks and damage and replace if necessary. Ensure that all vacuum lines are properly connected and routed. Clean or replace the air filter to ensure proper airflow. Check the throttle body for any obstruction or buildup and clean if necessary. Inspect the PCV valve and replace if there is damage. Check the exhaust gas recirculation valve for proper operation and replace if necessary. Also inspect the intake manifold gasket for leak and replace if necessary. Check the brake booster for proper operation and replace if necessary. Check the HVAC system for proper operation and identify any vacuum related issues. So by doing these procedures, you can prevent car vacuum leaks from happening. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.